Yeah. Yeah. The discussion. Oh, there's so much crap. We need a wipe. No, we are dealing with the crap. And this is uh, the, the last point. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wolfside channel. Today, with the stream summary about the band wave Henrik talked about. So first, we will look what Henrik has told us about the band wave, what they do against cheaters, and that they will never wipe the whole server. And then we will go through a random questions and answers list. Am I uh, loud and clear? Oh, we are those that played uh, yesterday. We had a rough rollback situation. We have identified, we have put measure in place, uh, so that should never be a thing again. Today I wanted to give a little update, <clears throat> a little bit what happened the latest week. Staff team that works on uh, monitoring tools, sheets, you know, the nasty stuff that is ongoing in the background that simply is necessary at all times. My first point I want to just go through a little bit is, so just a brief thing. We made a big cleanup recently. I'm quite sure people have known and noticed. <clears throat> we have deal dealt with hacks, dupes and bag exploiters. So, you know, a lot of these people that have been touching these areas have obviously also called for wipes for, for good reasons, right? But as I mentioned before, we wipe the cheaters and the items that shouldn't be in the game. That is our highest prior prior and focus in the staff team. And for that to work, obviously, we need sophisticated tools, in many different apartments. <clears throat> so only last week, we have removed about 300 accounts, uh, around 100 houses and strongholds. About 600,000 gold was removed along with that. And then we have specifically identified dupes back <coughs> and removed additional 725,000 gold. And we also obviously calculation the items resources similar way there and uh, both in gold and um, items resources. So I can tell you the staff have been extremely busy going through the database and logs in great detail and depth. This takes a lot of resources. That's the downside, right? Instead of just spending all the resources on actually the game, we are forced to spend specific developers in this area and that people are aware. Don't stop without fake numbers. This is exact numbers from the database, give or take a thousand from these stacks. That's why I made a prox. We can list every single um, user in our game and everything is obviously stored in a database. So obviously that's where the numbers come from. This is no imagination numbers. It comes from the database, which is the facts. Uh, <clears throat> so that leads to the next step, right? The discussion, oh, there's so much crap. We need a wipe. No. We are dealing with the crap. And this is uh, the, the last point here. Expanding procedures to battle unfair gameplay. So that this is the right way moving forward. Cheats in, in online games will always keep happening. And there is no magic way to stop it. And this, this is the same for every single MMO. <clears throat> so as you can understand, if X amount of time from now, there's a new situation, new hack, or whatever that may be, new exploits, uh, we can't just keep wiping. We wouldn't have a game. We wouldn't have anything persistent. This whole game built on the future, right? We're going to have many, many years when uh, keep expanding in every single category and there will be years of investment from, for the players. And we want the players to rely on that and be able to continue their hard work that they spend into the game rather than having a handful, uh, few ruining it for everyone by forcing a wipe or, you know, screaming wipe left and right without knowing why even. So I hope this kind of makes, makes a much better, clearer vision of why no one is wiping their online games when that happens. Obviously, the same goes for us. So, so since the project Polish, we've identified and sold 185 bucks. And those are, you know, serious issues that we have sold working on a, on a prior list and also heavily based on your feedback and bug reports. So that's been extremely useful for us and helpful. So that's obviously have led to a much greater gaming experience since then. Uh, a lot of core code refactoring has also happened during the Polish uh, focus, which also has led to a huge impact on stability and, and coding for the future. So a lot of hard work have been refactoring codes, but also simply securing the system and moving forward. So we have a very more solid core foundation to uh, continue forward on in many years. And this was a huge issue in the first game. The core foundation wasn't really stable and solid enough to expand on things that we wanted. So we were always stuck in a loop that's not the case anymore. Along with this, uh, the GM petitions have been reduced by 60% due to the, these fixes and improvements. So the GM staff doesn't have to work themselves to death. It's a huge impact overall from the players and for the GMs, obviously. So there are really good indications and data that obviously shows that we have made a huge step in the right direction. So now we are identifying the final current bugs uh, that are game breaking or lower the gaming experience. Um, for instance, we have identified that is a big breakthrough for us, all of us. 
uh, the network system does not fully support extremely large battles without network issues. Last confirmed fight on live with around 400 players without any sort of issues. Um, these have been a huge thing, right? So along with the expansion of when we enable everything, we have had issues with the network. Uh, it simply didn't work in large scale. And I'm sure all of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. What happened when the network were queuing up and getting mega desync lags and you couldn't see anything and the whole battle was ruined the last measurement we went from several seconds i think around 26 or even more seconds delay queues uh, with the last battle around 400 players now that is translated to uh, eight one point eight milliseconds that is such a huge difference that I guess most of you guys know what kind of difference that is, right? It's, it's a, such a huge difference. And now to the random questions and answers list. Yeah, Twitch drops will come with the Epic release. So maybe I should also consider streaming at that point. Please write in the comments if you really want to see that. Henrik also talked about the Unreal Engine 5 lumens and improvements and also the FPS improvements with the nanites system on the terrain but more on that is linked in the description there are videos about the lumen system about the fps issue with the cpu cores and also a benchmark but more to the unreal engine topic in the next video much more interesting he also talked again about the poison and the assassination system because that uh, nearly always uh, he also answered that and yes it will come together and it will come on the next roadmap he said then also very interesting monk style mentalism or kind of a monk style with the mentalism <laughs> Holy shit, because of monk style. <laughs> Holy, okay, yeah, okay. But also more fighting styles will come for the foot fighters with some special moves and also with the adrenaline system. If you are outnumbered, then your group will get an adrenaline buff and maybe you can overcome the Zerg. Henrik will make a specific stream for territorial control. More security on the map, mostly the starting locations. So more guards, etc. Changing, switching the weapons in combat mode should be less clumsy, so they will change that and uh, that it will be more smooth. Enhancements will come that you can improve your gear, your weapons and your armor for example. More house functions will come, the quality of life stuff like trading a house and stuff like that. Hopefully you can give then um, each chest a password. I mean he talked about that earlier but he didn't especially mention that. Adjustments will come to the extraction timers, maybe. He didn't say it in which direction. Star Vault will make votes, which should be the next magic school the knockdown mechanic is worked on mooring core sewers will be in game very soon molvars will also come soon and wagons will come to the game and no mention about ships that is impressive and one side note here star Wars don't save any credit card info or stuff like that they had a database breach in 2018 or something like that but there were only the login leak so special thanks for watching so just like and subscribe would be awesome and re re ring the bell and please also leave your opinion about the stuff hendrik said and Special thanks of all these supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor O, Locario, Anonymous, Slum of Gaming, Ronos, Partanax, Cologne Bulldog, you and all the others, of course. So never forget to ban hard. I mean, the party hard. And see you all next time. Goodbye.